<laughs> I brought him a little snack. I brought him a peach. What do we have here? It's a peach. A peach. Don't mind if I do. Whew. That was quite satisfying. Well, thanks a bunch. I should probably return the favor now, shouldn't I? Oh, that's right. I promised to show you one of my old jokes, didn't I? I guess if there's any if, if there's anything I can do to make you happy, that be it. All right, I have to get ready first, so you just wait here for a second. Thank you, thank you. Dunter Shrunk is in the house. My sheepishness joke is just a oh. So this story is coming back from when I was doing stand-up comedy as my day-to-day -day job. One day I practiced so much I pretty much lost my voice. My teacher came to my house to see how I was doing. He told my son, your dad's a little hoarse today. My son thought about it and said, he looks more like an axolotl than a horse to me. Runs in the family, I tell ya. <laughs> I could just like add some fucking laugh tracks into this shit. I forgot to do that in um, City Folk, but I can do it here. That was a sheepishness joke, which means I got a new emote. My comedic style is rather original. I mix a short story with a punchline to create a reaction joke. I retired a while back, but I think my jokes are still relevant. So I'd love for you to try them out, too. Say, I'll give you something else, too. You'll really love this. It's a book. This is a world-famous joke book. You should always keep it close to you to use it to record the jokes, I tell you. Plus, you can press the... the, uh... cat face on the lower screen to use them whenever you feel like it. I have tons of other jokes to show you, so stop by often to see a new ones to wind your comedic range. Huh, you mean like this. <laughs> that was like some sort of fake laughter. Oh, that's amazing. Right, so I'm gonna see if I can go back a day and if it doesn't happen then I could just go on ahead. I wonder if he's actually going to show up since I changed the time. Oh. Hey, excuse me. Mind if I bend your ear for a bit? Won't take a second. Let's see. Uh, alright. Oh, I should introduce myself proper and such. The name's Rossetti. Most people call me Mr. Rossetti on account of me being a respected member of the community and such. Looking forward to working with you. Of course, this will probably be the last time you ever hear see me since there ain't no center or nothing. That's right, there was supposed to be a surveillance center back in City Folk, but I never unlocked that. <clears throat> so, it says here you quit without saving last time you played. Care to explain yourself? Uh, I, I was just trying to change the time and I forgot to change... <laughs> I was trying to change the day and then I forgot to change the time. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wanted a do-over. My batteries ran out. I had no choice. I wonder what this one. Oh, a do-over, huh? Something didn't quite go your way? Is that the deal? Well, I guess that's one way to play it. But don't you think that just maybe it'd be more rewarding to roll with them punches you're taking? That's definitely how I'd most likely recommend you play the game. Don't you want to do the right thing and save? For the kids. For the whales. Come on! Save the whales! Was that? You were expecting something a little different? <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. The Reset Surveillance Center? It don't exist no more. When they were drawing up the town budget for this fiscal year, folks were all like, What's wrong with a little reset every now and then? We don't got the funds for this nonsense. Blah blah and so on and so forth. So you see, I ain't here on an official business or nothing. I'm just volunteering this once. 
So next time he resets, I ain't gonna pop out. This is it. All resetties out. Of course, if you were to use your mayoral powers to restore the center, well, that'd be different. And if that should come to pass, I'd be back on the job in full force. Unstoppable mole power. But listen to me. Run in my trap like a fancy pirate or something. Good luck with all your future endeavors. Take care. And scram. Well, I hope you'll remember to save your game before you quit playing from now on. <laughs> so now, yeah, she said Happy New Year. Oh, yeah. I was trying to change the date and I forgot to change the time, so I thought, wonder if he shows up again. So I, I quit the game. Without even saving. And I guess he shows up again. And yes, like, <laughs> I know what you're probably going to say, but he doesn't show up in New Horizons. He does, actually. He does show up in the Rescue Services app on your phone. Just not in person. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice that. It's the Northern Lights. Now it feels like true north from here. Which could be a perfect time to party. So, from Sunday to Friday nights, starting at 8, DJ KK will show up instead of his regular per se. And you can just dance your night away. Listening to all the KK songs in like a techno club mix version of it. Now, oh, here we go. You press the D-pad if you want to do some dance moves. Help me. Help me. <laughs> yeah, you can just press the D-pad to do some dance moves and just dance the night away. This was probably one of the b one of the best features in this game from everybody. If you could just bring like three friends back in the day, then you would just dance the night away together. It was an amazing time. So, feel like dancing? I hope you really just let your hair down and have a great time. <laughs> I guess he's like supposed to be my dance partner. Can I talk to him though? Oh wow, it's a picture of me. Yeah, it doesn't look it doesn't look like DJ KK can talk to me. Of course he's the same guy. Unless KK has a family. Ah, uh, this really takes me back to like 2013 or 2014 days. Pretty sure it was around the time through college. <laughs> and you just bop your head to the music. It. God, this was so nostalgic now. Yeah, like you. I'm 27 years old. I'm gonna be 28 next year. You know you're feeling old when you know the 3DS games are getting old. In fact, when did this game came out again? Uh, November 8th, 2012, yeah. 
That was actually around the time when Wreck-It Ralph came out in theaters. Holy crap. That was actually the year. Holy crap. And that was... my second year in college. So... I, I, I did miss those 3DS days, even though I still have a lot of 3DS games to go through. I did say I wanted to do Detective Pikachu for a while. I, I'm starting to think I should do that because I have this huge Detective Pikachu amiibo on my shelf and I'm I'm thinking of like giving it away. Because like I'm I'm just like giving away amiibos that have like just only one use and one use only. For example, the Dark Souls amiibo. Like that just gives you an emote in Dark Souls. For ones like Smash Brothers, those are the ones I can keep. As a matter of fact, I still have not gotten Joker and Hero because I thought like... Like once this episode comes out, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I'll probably find it, but I thought like my family would get it for Christmas for me. Like it could be like a... I don't know. Secret Santa kind of thing? I don't know. But I never got the chance to get Joker and Hero. As for the others, Banjo, Terry, and Byleth, they're coming out in March. So I'm going to be on the lookout for those guys. Because that's the only collection I'm, I'm actually going to get. Oh, now that I remember correctly, I think this game supports Amiibos. Does it? Uh, street pass, spot pass, local play. Oh, it doesn't say on here. Hmm. Oh no! It's because I don't have the right version of this game. Okay, so I have the original version of Animal Crossing New Leaf. But there is another version, also for the 3DS, called Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo for 3DS. Oh wow, really? I'm actually like looking this up. Harvey shows up in this game. I thought he was an original character in New Horizons. I never knew about this. Even Wisp, the ghost, shows up in the game. Oh my god. This updated version of New Leaf adds in support for all Animal Crossing series amiibo figures and cards. Tap these amiibo, amiibo to invite the depicted villager to a new RV campsite. Interact with them and ask them to move into your town. Oh, wow! They had that in the... They had that in this game? Wow! I thought that was an original thing they did in, like, Pocket Camp or New Horizons. In addition, 50 new Animal Crossing series cars will launch on de December 2nd. You'll get run a random card, yada yada yada. This was back in 2016. Oh my god, I never knew about this. I should have gotten that instead. Alright, I guess we had enough DJing for tonight. But you get you get the enjoyments there from New Leaf. Like, DJ KK is probably the best feature they add in into this game. And I never knew about Welcome Amiibo. I just never... I just never thought about it because it was probably the exact same. But no, they added characters that I saw in New Horizons that I thought were original characters. Then that makes me wonder, who are original characters in New Horizons? I know there's CJ and Flick. Those are characters that did like fishing and bug tournaments. And according to the fandom, or the community, they're apparently a gay couple. Alright. 
So, finally, our last stop of our little series of Animal Crossing. I didn't even think this would be the longest one out of the four. Is that we're gonna see a we're gonna see an old-fashioned performance by KK Slider?